burning time here at the Rock and Sea Homestead. Woo! We are on fire here at the Rock and Sea Homestead. This stuff is made from the devil. I swear it is. And we're burning it here on the Rock and Sea Homestead today. Woo, yes we are. It's getting hot. Hey folks, welcome back to the Rock and Sea Homestead. My name is Lance. I want to welcome you to our channel. And as you saw in the little opening, it is getting hot and we are burning some stuff here at the Rock and Sea Homestead today. We're trying to get rid of this, this stuff right here. Some people call it samber, some call it goat head. I refer to it as devil weed because this stuff is terrible. It is, I mean, it is sticky. It pricks you. It stays on you. It's just terrible. I see no use for it. No one likes it. The goats don't eat it. The chickens don't eat it. The dogs don't eat it. It gets stuck on us. We bring it in. It gets, you know, it gets everywhere. So as you can see behind me, my son's using her blowtorch. And we're and we're trying to burn them. So not only does the does the plant die, but we're trying to burn these little seeds. That's what these little prickly things are. They're actually seeds for the plant. And we did this last year, we made a video of it, but you know, every time you burn something at the homestead, you gotta make a new video on it because you're burning stuff and it's cool. So we're burning these, and what we're trying to do is trying to burn these and neutralize them. So even if they do survive the burning, maybe they won't survive and actually re uh, multiply and reproduce. So that's what we're hoping for. Last year, we did some quite a bit of burning, uh, probably around August or something like that. And our goal was to, to burn again in like October, November when all the grasses died out and it's in, it's in a hibernating state. But we just never got to it. Then I got sick uh, at the end of November and then December, January and February, I was just out for the count. So I couldn't do it, didn't, didn't get it done. So we really haven't had as big of a problem with it this year until recently. You know, we had a pretty mild May and June and then July we got zero rain. I mean, zero rain throughout the whole thing. So these things just didn't grow. So now in August, we had a little bit of rain at the very end. So we didn't get rain for about eight, eight weeks here during the middle of summer. So now we've had some heat, we've had a lot of rain. So now these things are popping up here in September, which is typically they're, they're done and over with by now. But you know, with the weather, it changes it. So these things came back, we're gonna burn and I'll show you kind of what we're doing and how we're trying to kill these things. And again, I mean, there's, there's ways you can do it with chemicals. We try not to put any chemicals on the lawn, especially where the goats or chickens and animals may eat or be. Uh, so we're trying to do it as natural as possible. And hey, it's always fun to burn some stuff. Always fun to burn stuff. So that's my son, Christian. He likes to burn stuff. Yeah, I do. So as you can see, we've done a lot already. We have some pretty big swatches here, swaths here, I should say, that we've burnt. And I'm trying to burn it. Once I noticed it started coming up, I decided to let it grow a little bit so we can kind of see where it's growing up. I wanted to, to burn it before I mowed the lawn because once you mow the lawn, if you don't have it in a bagger, uh, it just gets spread everywhere. And it really likes to hang around at the fence line. because That's probably where it's hardest for me to get it with the weed eater and the mower. As you can see, it's 
everything's kind of congregated around the, the fence line there. But I tell you, this wet grass, or very living grass, it is smoky. And this is some hot, hot work. All right, so I just wanted to kind of run through the gear we're using to, to burn this uh, devil weed to the ground. So we have a, uh, a just a regular propane tank. It's a little one that, that you can get for your barbecue grill that you can swap in and out at the 7-Eleven or wherever else you may swap it out. We have it attached to a dolly. Not sold on if that's the best method of getting it around, but it definitely is a little bit easier when you're hauling it a long distance. But for short distances, it may not be. We're not sold on it completely, but for now, that's what we have it on. And then we have the propane tank attached to the blowtorch. So it just has a really long cord. You just screw it in down here at the propane tank. So now we get down to the business end of this thing. So on the blowtorch itself, you have a little knob up here, and then it has a little, little air compress where it lets out more air. And then over here is where you set the fire on it. Of course, this is super hot right now, so I don't want to touch it. And you do not want this to be cooled down before you touch it or before you put it close to the, to the um, piping. We've actually rent one or to maybe a neck or to a leg because uh, we've had burns like that. Right, Christian? Yeah, I, uh, I got a burn right here because of it. Yeah. So, um, but how this works, you want to get closer up here, Chris, we'll kind of show them how this works here. So you can turn this knob and you guys can hear the gas coming out. So I'm just going to do that now. It comes with a little clicker, like one of those little Bunsen burner clickers where you can start it, but it works just as good if you have one of those and then if you want it to come out high powered all you got to do is press this little lever down here and I'm not sure if that's shooting air or more gas or a mixture of both but it definitely makes it more high power and then all you do is make sure that you point it away from somebody or something you don't want to burn. So, like, let's come over here to this little thing here. And what I try to do is try to get the, the pod first. And I try to get that burnt. And then sometimes it falls, sometimes they burn in place. And then I just try to burn the plant. I mean, you like it's like going turbo on it here. Well, folks, thanks for coming back, watching our video. We really do appreciate you guys coming back. And if you watch it this far, thank you very much. We appreciate that. Hey, if you guys don't follow us on Facebook or Instagram, those links will be down below. Please uh, look us up. If you like what you see, follow on that. And again, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, the link will be right down there. Click on that, ring that bell, do all those fun, fun things that you guys know what to do with. But again, from our home city years, have a blessed day, and we'll catch you on the next video. Bye. Burn safely.